Here we have the new Canon 6D, it's an entry level full frame digital SLR camera which means it should have a larger sensor so it would be better in low light conditions than most digital cameras and it also is able to make full advantage of 35mm wide angle lenses. There's a couple of features that are new on the 6D which we haven't seen in Canon digital SLRs before. There's built in Wi-Fi so you can easily share your photos as well as GPS so you can tag where in the world you took your photos. It's a new 20.2 CMOS sensor. It also has a huge ISO range of 100 to 25,600. It's not exactly the same sensor as we saw on the Canon 5D Mark III, which was very impressive, but we're hoping it should be just as good in low light conditions. In addition to that, Canon has optimized the autofocus points for low light conditions and apparently works up to minus three EV, which is the equivalent of moonlight. Although we are a little bit disappointed that it's only 11 autofocus points compared with 62 on the Canon 5D Mark III and 39 on the Nikon D600, which is also an entry-level full-frame DSLR. It can shoot full HD video, but unfortunately Canon has missed out a headphone jack, so you won't be able to listen to the sound quality of the video while you're filming it. It uses the same magnesium alloy body as the 5D Mark III, but unfortunately it's missing a few of the manual controls, so you won't have as much control at your fingertips, but any Canon user should really be able to get on with it fine. Unfortunately, the 6D doesn't come cheap, and it costs £1,800 for the body alone, and around £2,500 with the 24 to 105 mm kit lens. Click the link below to let us know what you think of the 6D. Is it worth £1,800, or would you rather spend a little bit more to get the 5D Mark III? For more information, visit witch.co.uk.